I cannot figure out why every single time I have this nutty eyeshadow, it shatters completely on its own. I want to show you guys how I fix this. I think I did, yeah, I did a blog post on it a few years back. First, I'm going to use this little, like, tooth cleaner thing. It's just from the dollar store. To break it all up. To get the big chunks to the top, I'll just kind of stir and then do my little crushing motion. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the finer the powder, the better it's going to set. Alright, so there we go. I washed out the pan here with just water. Now I'm going to get some rubbing alcohol. So I'm just spraying some of it onto the side of this bowl. I'm just going to make it into a paste. And so now I'm just going to pour it in to the pan. I'm going to just do it in layers and do the first one here and let it dry. Tapping it down is good to get like the pigment down to the bottom and then the alcohol all at the top so that it will start to evaporate. It is time for a manicure. I have my cuticle gel on and I'm going to push it back. How is it that everyone who works at Uniqlo is so nice? It's so cute. And this evening, we are here in Hudson's Bay at the uh, Food Set Lounge. Uh, but we're actually broadcasting around the world. Uh, we started trending this morning and it's been trending nonstop. So thank you so much for all of your wonderful tweets and posts. But I want to start by introducing Mrs. Deanne. She is the brains behind this whole wonderful creation. I mean, this is a really innovative way of experiencing fragrance that I have never seen before. The idea of reinventing the fragrance experience and making it more modern and younger and to entice millennials to want to try uh, fragrances. But it is, fragrance is an art form. Everything about it is an art form. So if you think about the master perfumer who comes up with the fragrance, the, the person who designs the bottle, uh, the ad campaign, the model, everything about fragrance is art. And so we wanted and they to are keep so them. proud of it. Like if you yeah. actually interview the perfumers and the bottle designers, they are like they've worked on this for like several times three years. Cody is the largest fragrance company in the world. So we felt it was kind of a little bit our responsibility to come up with a new way to try fragrances. The RD company has actually, you know, figured out that different uh, textures and different materials would better uh, reproduce the scent. And they actually last almost two years. These, uh, these and what's interesting about these is, when you're spraying a fragrance, you can basically test three fragrances at one time. Any more than that, and the nose can't distinguish between the different notes, so it all blends together. With these, you can actually test multiple fragrances, and it's not spraying. Okay, so show us the screen. You've got this, these amazing two big interactive screens here. So, we challenge you with our great videos, and then we invite you to discover and play this uh, this table and this was really inspired by sort of Apple Genius Bar. Right? Oh, we wanted yeah, to come here and hang out and play. Try one of the inhalers and scan it, and it will tell you everything about that fragrance. You can tap on uh, the scent, and it will tell you the notes of the fragrance: so green apple, aromatic notes, woody notes, perfumer when it launched, and then last but not least, you can tap on products and it shows you the assortment available here at the bay, and price. So fun. So let's talk about this wonderful 
sort of spiral above us, you can sort of see that there's this kind of interesting, like, canopy. kind of canopy. Yeah. Tell me what inspired that. So we worked with a really cool Canadian uh, architect team, a husband and wife. I really wanted, like, what does fragrance look like? And he wanted to make the invisible visible. And this was his interpretation of what fragrance would look like if you could see it. This wisp of but we're going to invite Jackie to come and tell us, Jackie, come and tell us the three different fragrances here. Mark Jacobs' Daisy Twinkle is a sparkling reinterpretation of the classic Daisy Trio. So they all have elements of the classic trio, but they all have a little bit of a violet, vibrant twist to them. So is Daisy Dream Twinkle, and it has bursts of black cherry in it. Um, and it's also rounded out with a whipped berry mousse, so those, it's a little bit different than the classic in that the classic has blackberries instead of black cherry. So, so I would say the difference is that the Daisy Classic is more citrusy. It's, they're both floral, these are both floral and fruity. Um, and then this one has got the berries in the top note. So I would say that's the biggest difference. Let's try this. Daisy Dream. Now I am testing Daisy Eau de Toilette, the regular. Shaking up, it's actually um, wax. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is one of my first perfumes. just got home from a Dave Lackey event. I was at Yorkdale at the Hudson's Bay there. They have this fume scent lounge. So you go there and there are all these little sniffing bottles where you can actually smell the fragrance diffuse through wood or wax or little plastic pellets. It was so fun. You can pretty much find the perfect scent. You can smell all of them to no end because you're not actually smelling all the alcohols. It's all just like plain fragrance. Um, Dave spoils us every single time. I got Daisy Dream. Then I got a little pouch. I love these to keep in my handbag. This one's really pretty. You can even use this going out somewhere. And then a sticker card thing for my phone. These bracelets, I have to put them on now. They are so, so cute. I just realized that you can see the cord from my phone charger that my phone is resting on right now. A little bit annoying. I'm gonna continue and show you what I got in the mail today. So I have my Body Boss package. So I'm gonna start this cool challenge with a company called Body Boss. And it says you'll thank yourself for starting today. I got the Superfood Nutrition Guide. Discover Superfoods, weeks one to six. Um, and then we have week seven to 12. So I'm definitely gonna try and go through the whole program start to finish. I also have, I think this is the workout book, yes, the Ultimate Body 12 Week Fitness Guide. I can't wait. There are some incredible exercises to do in my spare time or when I find an excuse to not go to the gym. Then I think this is the most exciting thing I've ever bought. <laughs> this is my cosmetic organizer and it's a spinning uh, stand like this. So I'm gonna build it right here. This is also not Ikea, FYI. It doesn't show you how to put on the rings anywhere. Like, not even at all. It just says fix with rings. This is not something you want to do with a fresh manicure. Just saying. Ah, bless. Okay. Now to do the bottom. Oh dear. Love I'm just gonna go put it in my bathroom. I'll stack it with all these glass bottles and then it would all just like literally dissolve in its own pile of sadness. Okay. Oh, this 
This is so dumb. I also get that I was supposed to do this at the beginning. Last one. Ta da! This is so nice. Welcome. Let's go. Okay, note to self, don't stick these in before you know what's going where, because now it's a total pain to redo it all. Oh my god, impossible. Using this little hook. Oops. Guys, <laughs> I'm in a police car. I'm fighting crimes. Get in the back! It's <laughs> a police Tesla. Futuristic. This little Veloster N is really giving me some good color vibes. Look at that color. The perfect periwinkle. Personal fave is the watermelon themed ponty. I think it's quite cute. This color scheme is a bit showy for my liking. A little too much. Look how cute these are. Vintage! Investment for the next like 25 years, I hope. These things are beautiful. They have such satisfying hardware. It's like spring loaded, so smooth. The inside is like putting your foot into a couch. So soft and comfy. I love them. Lightweight. Super cool. Salomon has my heart. <laughs> 